urinary levels of prodocalexin as a marker for prodocytopathy in high body mass index and metabolic syndrome patients, a diagnostic test accuracy study. I am Dr. Amar Yasser Naina from Alexandria Egypt University and the Civil Lecturer and Nephrology Department. My voice is here. The presentation is uh, vivid. Yeah, it's very clear. Okay, let's proceed. Increased body mass index, including overweight and obesity, is a major health problem in both developed and developing countries. It is an epidemic or even pandemic. It is not only a cosmetic figure that means uh, the people may be concerned about. It has a very high risk health problem. Uh, as cardiac disease, diabetes, hypertension, it may cause mortality. But the good news is weight reduction will improve your health. It is reversible somehow. Obesity alone is a major risk factor for chronic kidney disease and indicated renal disease patients in combination with diabetes, it may lead to 70% of all dialysis patients. Obesity is an excess body fat. To be more detailed or more specific, a proportion of fat mass greater than 25% in males and 33% in females. To diagnose the obesity, we use mainly body mass index which is calculated by the weight in kilogram divided by meters squared, or online calculator for some doctors. Other field methods with circumference, width, width ratio, chemical thickness, and bioelectrical impedance, or for research, MRI, and absorbimetry. Still, body mass index is the best worldwide. According to body mass index, uh, weight is classified to underweight, normal, overweight, obese plus one, plus two, or extremely morbid obese, Three. The complication of diabetes of obesity is wide range, starting with dyslipidemia, hypertension, stroke, DVT, type 2 diabetes, cardiac diseases as ischemic heart, AF, premature death, even malignant tumor, gynecological, as trine, cervical, and mutual ovarian cancer, or a breast cancer, esophageal cancer, rectal, liver, gallbladder, pancreatic, colonic, renal cancer, and prostatic malignancy. Respiratory disorder as a structural apnea, as the colleague mentioned, or bronchialasma. Gallbladder disease and stone, sexual dysfunction in both male and female, infertility, osteoarthritis, pathological disorder, fatty liver, and metabolic syndrome. Proceeding to metabolic syndrome, it is previously known as deadly quartus, syndrome X for raving syndrome, fatty liver is increasing with increasing body mass index. It may reach up to 50% of all the obese population. Many criteria are applied or implied to identify the metabolic syndrome. In this study, we use the NCP criteria. Other criteria are WHO and IDF criteria. Our criteria in this study is the NCP criteria 3. With the positive blood glucose above 100 milligrams per deciliter, suffer a pressure over 130 over 85 millimeters of mercury, triglyceride over 150, HDL cholesterol in males less than 40 and females less than 50, the weight of the circumference in males above 102, in females above 80, 80 centimeters, and there is no albuminuria. This is the criteria we use in this system. Now, this pathological finding related to the obesity on biopsy is marked glomerulomegaly. It is found in 100% of focal segmented glomerulosis the second type compared to 10% of primary type. But it is less common in obese to progress to endothelial renal disease. The etiology is based on this pathophysiologic mechanism, broad system, hypertension, leptin, hyperfiltration, hypertrophy, dyslipidemia, and hypoconectin, but all this mechanism doesn't Okay, don't care at the same time. They are not equally distributed. They don't care in all patients due to most likely genetic susceptibility. That's why secondary focus in mental glomerulosis is very low to proceed to an end stage. Talking about metabolic syndrome, this is the most common cause of CKD worldwide leading to an end stage. It manifests either early by albuminuria, later on production of GFR, and or both. Previously, albuminuria were defined below 30. Currently, as a classification by KD2 is A1, 30 to 300 is A2. Both of them were called microalbuminuria previously in the guidelines, KD2. 
over 300 is now A3. According to the biopsy finding, the diabetic nephropathy is classified to four stages. Stage one is glomerular dysmembrane thickening. It occurs at least five years from onset of diabetes with clinical presentation of only hypertension. There is nothing else. Mild severe mesangial expansion in stage two occurs two years later on. There is normal GFR. No albuminuria. Stage three, nodular sclerosis. It takes about five to ten years to develop after onset of of the hypertension in stage one with microalbuminuria 3 to 300, A2. To be noted that it takes at least 12 years from the onset of the RE to develop albuminuria. So, penal biopsy is an indicator in diabetic patients, even without proteinuria, to diagnose the early diabetic nephropathy, which is nonsense if the patient is not complaining. Why are going to do the biopsy? Stage four, diabetic glomerulus sclerosis, there is a reduction in GFR. So it takes at least 12 to 15 years to present with even a problem in patient with diabetes. Stage five is an indicator in the patient. To illustrate this finding, on the left hand, we can find the normal kidney structure, glomeruli. On the left, on the right, we can find the diabetic kidney. This is the glomerulus basement membrane. Here it looks normal. And the diabetic kidney is thickened. Later on, there is mesangial matrix expansion with more infiltration in mesangial cells. Later on, affection of the vascular endothelium and the placement of the food process. We can find on the left that the food process is, is evident, well defined, and there is abundance of food sites in the diabetic kidney metallus. There is a less food site and no food process. The buddhocytopenia, a buddhocytopathy, is the defect. What is the buddhocytopathy? It is a functional kidney unit that forms uh, ultrafiltration from the afferent blood flow by passing through the lymph node. It is have a very high sensitivity index. So, by, by doing the glomerular filtration apparatus, which is formed of the severe endothelium, glomerular basement membrane, and the endothelium. This is the site. It has a body. This is the main processes. This is the longitudinal process. It encircles in zip like manner around the glomerular basement membrane. This is the glomerular basement membrane. This side of the site site. This is the vascular uh, endothelium site. Another view, glomerular basis membrane, buddha site, endothelium. This is the split drive frame in between. The buddha site has typical surface structure, surface and basal surface. Through understanding the buddha site structures and its interaction between the nephrine buccalexin or surface protein and the axon site skeleton, is needed to maintain structural integrity. What is buddha site robot? This is abnormal function of the buddhocyte or damage to the buddhocyte. All types of buddhocytopathy presented as proteinuria, but on the pathological point of view, according to the injury, the pathophysiology will appear. In minimal changes of disease, there is a assessment of the process, focal segment cell, there is a buddhocyte loss, and so on. To diagnose the buddhocytopathy, we either need a biopsy to diagnose the morphological pattern, or we can use an indirect urinary biomarker serum or urinary. What are the biomarkers? The biomarkers are the proteins that around the surfaces of food site, either epical, lateral, basal, or at the vascular bed. We here in the study use the Budo Calexin. Budo Calexin is an anionic cyanide like protein utilized in the epical surface of the food site. It causes also the food process. It is a negatively charged, so it forms the filtration barrier between. By making the adjustment to process separated, thus preventing structured plasma proteins from the picture. Its interaction with the cytoskeleton play a very rule, important for information on the stages of the structure. It is also found in the vascular endothelium platelets, and it, it is a proactive molecule, so it plays a very big role in the atherosclerosis. That's why this biomarker is heavily studied in different types of humanity. Other biomarkers, just for enumeration, the buddhocyte and nephrine show that they have role in many studies. CD59, CD80, exosomal perception factor, which is human one, also have a role, but in certain glomerulopathy, not in diabetes and obesity. Maintain buddhocyte specific message of only buddhocyte in both the general structure under investigation. These show no value yet. 
so udo collecting is the most common use for seen by marker for food cytopathy uh, and used in the most of the study of the remaining documents, especially by the canoe. Our aim of the work is the relation between body cytopathy and hardy body mass index in metabolic syndrome patients with normal and impaired kidney function by using the renal photo collection for early detection and disease progression. In another way, we can can we use this biomarker to avoid doing biopsy? Can this biomarker differentiate between focal segmental glomerulosclerosis and diabetic nephropathy in the same patients or not? We don't live in this manual. The subject. This study was conducted in 80 subjects divided into two groups, group A and group B. Both of them contain 40 patients. Group A, high body mass index, metabolic syndrome, but normal kidney. No AIDS, no ARP, no proteinuria, no eyes, and serum keratin or reduction G plus. This is group B. Totally normal, but with metabolic syndrome. Group B, 40 patients. They are subdivided into two groups, group B1 and group B2. Group B1 contains two different patients, group B2 in the patient. The differentiating bond between B1 and B2 is there is normal serum keratin in B1 with or without AIDS and ARP with proteinuria, but in B2 there is a reduction in GFR and increase in serum keratin. So B1, normal kidney function with proteinuria, B2, right serum keratin and kidney function with or without proteinuria. The inclusion criteria, age of content, 22 to 60, and patient effect, metabolic syndrome and body mass index high. The exclusion criteria, all possible causes of proteinuria, either transient, or permanent, such as liver disease, cardiac disease, primary GN, known patients, previous history, urinary tract infection, non systemic lupus, non familiar Mediterranean fever, patient on medication or drug abuse, as an excessive smoker, pneumonia, non patient with tumors or in already or radio chemotherapy, patient with fever. Patient with The methodology is a cross-sectional study with all participants was taken from Alexander Main University Hospital in Egypt, inpatient and outpatient work for clinic. They were asked to refrain from strength exercise to avoid transit with urea one day before sampling for less protein and intake. They also were asked to pass for 12 hours. They are going to sample the radio profile. After giving the signed informed consent, they all were subjected to a positive street taking assessment of the body mass index, full clinical physics and and the process assessment to assess the inclusion and exclusion criteria as complete perfection with R, hemoglobin, human C, lipid profile, renal function, liver function, urine analysis, and the specific markers, which are urinary album, urinary issue, and urinary population. The 80 individuals included in the study were selected after thorough assessment of 165 patients to present the inclusion and exclusion criteria. Urinary body collection, it was done by using a light jacket from the Dory Science Company. Uh, the sample were taken, fresh morning urine sample in sterilized cup, centrifuge, and kept at minus 20 Celsius to preserve and avoid freezing the treatment. We used a light technique for the collection the detection range on the kit was 0.2x up to 1,500 uh, 1, picograms per milli. So we noted that the renal body collection and the album collection issue were collected from the same sample of each patient. This is a graphic and descriptive data in the study in the whole group. We can find that average age to all the studies starting from 55 to 60, most of the groups. There is a female predominance, just like the society. Body mass index. 35 were overweight, 80, uh, 28 were obese, 22 severely obese, only 13 more the group. The interesting finding was that Bodo collection was found positive in all groups, even in group A, which show normal urine album creation ratio and normal serum creation. Comparing the three subject group according to the renal album to resume issue and the body collection, we found that 
we're an album uh, we're an album in character and issue with statistically significant also good collection or statistically significant but to a lesser range than your album of character and issue your album of character and issue could differentiate between group a and group b1 also between group a and group b2 so it can differentiate between normal and abnormal with good statistical significance while it couldn't differentiate between b1 and b2 the b value will point why? Good collection can differentiate between B1 and B2. Those who have normal kidney function with proteinuria and those who have declining GFR rise of kidney function. This is the main differentiating point between both of them. As you can see, urine an album that is issue, normal circulation. Or an album that is issue, normal kidney function with proteinuria. Or an album that is issue in CTV patients with or without protein oil. While good collection almost the same in all groups, but to a lesser extent, it is less in group B2. Those who have declined in serum creatinine, uh, decline in GFR and serum creatinine, show less good collection distribution in the year. We applied the rock analysis to assess sensitivity and specificity and comparison of four biomarkers in group A and group B. We found that at sub point 13, the urine album creates an issue of statistical significance of the differentiate between group A and group B as defined by the PDO guidelines. While both the collection couldn't differentiate between them, the sensitivity was 77% and sensitivity of 100%. As you can see, differentiating between two biomarkers and differentiation between B2 and B1, we found that urine album variants with an issue at the least statistical significant than good collection, but the sensitivity and specificity in urine album variants with an issue is higher. The specificity and specificity in good collection was low, only 52% and 45%. The relation and correlation with the two biomarkers. Your album creatinine ratio it was statistically correlated to the creatinine GFR, ASN RFC6, solid pressure, and cholesterol with almost significant value. We bought the univariate multivariate analysis to identify the most important factor to affect the urine album creatinine ratio and it was the serum creatinine. The B value in multivariate is positive, but in GFR it is negative. In univariate analysis, it was possible. The GFR have multiple variations that may vary by time. So, I think that is not. The Rennie Buddha collection was, correct, uh, was correlated to the LDL, the solid pressure and cholesterol. In univariant multivariate analysis, only the solid pressure was correlated to the Buddha collection and affected that. To summarize the findings of the study, the present study showed that B value of album creatinine ratio is statistically significant and higher than both collection in comparison to all groups where an album creatinine ratio correlated with its major GFR. Also, showed that CKD progresses, the level of your album creatinine ratio increases while that of Buddha collection decreases. Also, showed that urinary Buddha collection is present very early in the urine, even before album urea or increases the reduction reduction of GFR. The conclusion was urine and blood collection, in spite of being more sensitive biomarkers than urine album creatinine for early diagnosis, still urine album creatinine is the gold standard. Urine and blood collection can be used as a marker for CKD progression in diabetes, but with little sensitivity. Urine and blood collection is non specific, it cannot be used to identify different pathological findings in the human biology. So obviously, solid evidence for urine blood collection as a surrogate biomarker for CBD depression needs a larger scale cohort study. The non-invasive biomarker can lead to genome biopsy and algorithm photocytopathy diagnosis. That's what all necrologists hope.